In this video I'm going to show how to import a sheet metal part into uh, Sigma from Space Claim. Um, in front of you you have a Space Claim model um, that has a, a flat pattern assigned to it. Uh, we also have uh, a number of properties that we're going to map into uh, Sigma. The revision is uh, mapped to the, the, the title or the part name um, using here also have custom properties that I'm going to map to a part data one in Sigma Nest. Um, the thickness of in the material as well, but the, the thickness in this model uh, is determined uh, from the thickness of the part. Uh, so we, we derive that directly from the model. Uh, so if I jump over to Sigma Nest, um, I'm going to use the import space claim, browse to where I have my model, and do the import. So as I uh, get the part into SigmaNest, I have a part information manager or import manager um, that shows me the model. Now if I was to import multiple parts, I would have multiple parts in this list. Um, I can assign a work order number. I can also change the quantity in this box. Um, I can also uh, disable parts from coming in if I choose to here as well. I'm going to go ahead and hit process. So in the uh, part parameters of Sigma S comes in, it has the uh, the correct model thickness, it has the correct uh, uh, number to nest that I indicated, the material, uh, the rev, um, and here's that custom field property that I mapped uh, into Sigma S as well. Um, in the part parameters we have a number of different fields like lead in, lead out capability. Uh, we can assign those and get those uh, assign those automatically based on material thickness. I also have a grain tab where I can assign um, the how we want to rotate or uh, um, nest this part. So in this case, I'm going to say there's no grain. It's going to allow it to nest in 90 degree increments. I'm also picking a common line cut option. So this part will be allowed to uh, uh, nest up against another part to be common cut. So I'll go ahead and say OK on that. And then I'm going to create a task. That's the next step of nesting this part. So say new task, select my part. Um, the task parameters uh, menu here is where I can put in my, my sheet size, length and width. I have my thickness, my clearance between parts. Um, I'm going to change that to a quarter inch, half inch off the sheet. I'm also going to um, allow it to uh, select my common line nest. It's also my thickness or my, my distance for when the parts are common line next to each other, what's the distance in between the parts? That's the uh, hundred thousands there. Um, if it's not common line, it's going to use the quarter inch. Um, so I'm also using my uh, plasma machine to nest this for. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. I'm going to uh, go ahead and auto nest this. So what it did is it nested uh, the, the sheet and from here what I would do is apply NC path to it. And then what the next step is to post this thing uh, out to a machine code. So I'm going to go ahead and say post single sheet. And I can also take a look at uh, a nesting report that for the sheet. And then this is the report that would go out to an operator in most cases. We'll have the sheet name, the program number. Um, we'll have how many parts are nested. And this this sheet here had 166 of the 200. If I go to my sheet two, I have another sheet here with a partial sheet with 34 additional parts on it. Um, that's all there is to it.